if you have an old laptop or old desktop that's just sitting and collecting dust and you just don't know what to do with it in this video i'm going to show you how to turn this computer into a network storage device and every computer in your home or in your environment is going to be able to connect and store data and share data with other either with your friends or with your coworkers. so for this video i'm going to use this desktop and this desktop already has two hard drives but if you have only one hard drive what you can do you can install freenas on a flash drive and use your hard drive as a share storage or if you have two hard drives you can use one of them as a free nas and a second one as a share storage so in this video i'm going to use one of my hard drives for free nas and a second hard drive i'm going to use for share storage so we're going to need the flash drive at least two gigs and then we're going to have to download two files so first one open our internet browser and we have to go to download.freenas.org I'll put link in the description below and then I'm gonna use 12.0 version looks like this is one of the latest ones and then I'm gonna click on master then I'm gonna scroll down and right here I'm gonna click on the latest and then I'm gonna click on 64 and right here I'm gonna download ISO and then I'm gonna click OK to save it there is one more thing we have to do while it's downloading we need to download rufus and you have to go to rufus.ie and i'll put link in the description below and we need to scroll down and we need to download and i'm just going to use for this video portable version and i'm going to click on save file once download is complete we need to plug in our flash drive into our computer and then we need to open our download folder and in download folder i'm going to double click on rufus and right here i'm just going to click no and in here i'm going to choose my usb flash drive this is the one and right here i'm going to click on select i'm going to navigate to downloads and i'm going to choose this file true nas that's the one which is downloaded i'm going to click on open and then right here i'm going to leave everything as default and then i'm going to click on start and then right here i'm going to click ok once this process is done right here we need to click on close and now we can eject our flash drive now we need to plug in our flash drive into our computer the one that we're going to use for network storage device and now we need to turn on our computer and we need to boot into the boot menu on my computer it's f12 and right here we need to choose our usb device this is mine and i'm gonna click enter and right here at this option i'm gonna press one and right here i'm gonna choose i'm gonna leave it at one and i'm gonna press enter and right here this is stating this computer has less than 8 gigs of ram and this is fine i've already done it before i'm gonna continue anyways and right here we need to choose our drive where we're gonna install free nas so like i said before this computer has already two hard drives but for example if your computer has only one what you can do you can install on usb flash drive so before booting you need to insert your usb flash drive the one that you're gonna use for your free nas but in my case i don't have to do this so i'm just gonna press on a space bar i'm gonna select this the top one that's only 120 gigs of storage on the top one i'm gonna click on space so i'm gonna select and then i'm gonna press enter to continue and right here at this message this is basically stating that it's gonna delete it's gonna format everything from your flash drive and all the data is going to be lost and if you would like to proceed with the installation and i'm going to press yes and right here now we need to come up with the root password that's the password we're going to use to access free nas on a startup and then once you're done press enter and right here if you're installing on one of the older devices most likely you will have to boot via bios and if it's as one of the newer computers that you have maybe uefi but for this video i'm just gonna run it 
I'm going to boot through the BIOS. And right here, it's asking if you would like to create a 16 gig swap partition on your device. And I'm going to click yes, create swap. And now it's creating a swap and it's installing free NAS on your computer. So now we just have to wait. Once the installation is complete right here, we need to press an OK and then we need to remove our flash drive. And in here, I'm going to scroll down to number three. I'm going to reboot the system and I'm going to remove the flash drive while it's going to be rebooting. And in here at the screen, we just need to press an enter. When the free NAS is booted right here, we get a console menu. And at this menu, you can configure network interface, link aggregation, VLAN, default route, static route, DNS. We can reset root password, configuration to default, shell reboot and done. We're just going to use this IP address that's over here. We need to remember this IP address. And that's the IP address we're going to use to log into the free NAS and to do the configuration. Now we need to get back on our computer and we need to type that IP address that I just showed you. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.156 and then press enter. And it's going to bring up free NAS UI. And now we need to type for username. It's going to be root. And for the password, it's going to be that same password. The one that you set it up during the installation and then press login. Once you're logged in, you're going to be able to see all of the information from that computer. CPU, memory, network, and everything else. So first thing we need to do, we need to create user account. So we need to click on users. And right here, we need to click on add. And right here, I'm just going to create a free NAS account. Once this is done, once you put the password, you can scroll down. You can change the permissions over here. I'm just going to leave everything as default for right now. And I'm going to click submit. And now we need to go, we need to click on storage, expand storage, and we need to click on pools. And right here, we need to click add. And right here, make sure create new pool is selected and then click on create new pool. And right here, you can see this is the second hard drive that I have that it's available that I'm going to use for share. But if you don't have one or you can even use a flash drive to do that. Once you plug in your flash drive, if you have a big enough flash drive, it's going to appear over here. So what we need to do, we need to select and then we need to click on this arrow to the right and it's going to appear over here. And then we need to create a name. I'm just going to name it home share. And then I'm going to click on create right here. We need to click on confirm and then create pool. Once this is done, we need to go back and we need to click on sharing. And right here, we need to choose what kind of share we're going to create. I'm going to create windows share SMB for this tutorial because all my computers at home, they are windows based. So you click on it. And right here, we need to click on add. Once we do that, we need to expand MNT and then we need to click on home share. And then I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm going to click on submit. And then right here, we need to click enable service. Once this is done, we can click on close here. And that's it. Share is created. So here's what we can do. We can open file explorer. And right here, we need to type the IP address of the free NAS. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.156 and then press enter. And in this pop up box, we need to put our credentials. So we're going to put the one for the user, the one that I created earlier. It was free NAS and then password. And then 
you can click on remember my credentials so that way you won't have to type your credentials every single time and then press OK. And that's it. And now it's taken us to the home share. And now we can share, we can put any files, music or anything you have or anything that you would like to share on a network with somebody. We can drop it over here or we can create folders or we can do anything you want. Then if you go back, what you can do, you can right click on the home share and then you can click on map network drive. And right here you can click everything as default and then click finish. And what's going to happen in maps automatically the share drive. So next time when you boot your computer, if you click on this PC, and right here, your share is going to be connected on the startup with your credentials. So that way, next time, if you would like to access your shared documents or network share, you want to have to type your IP address and everything like that. It's going to be automatically connected and mapped. So you double click on it and that's it. You're in your share folder and all the links I use in this video, I'm going to put them in the description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if this video was helpful to you, Press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.